everyone, so welcome back to the Chinchilla Guide. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a how to do a health checks video on your chinchilla. And before I start the video, I'm going to say a couple things. And the first thing is your chinchilla should be giving health checks by um, you, the owner, about once a week and maybe twice a week, but mostly should be done once a week. And they should be checked up by a vet once a year. And it's important to take them to the vet once a year because... Um, a vet could actually see if something's like really, really wrong with them because chinchillas are really good at hiding their illnesses and their, uh, if they're hurt. So without any further ado, let's get on to the video. So the first thing I would like to say is um, you're going to want to check to see if anything is not normal around their ears, eyes, and nose. So for their ears, you're going to want to make sure you look inside their ears and you want to make sure they're nice and clean and it's not dry and if your chinchilla's ears are dry you're going to want to use like bag balm or uh, coconut oil and you're just going to rub it on, on them but in general you want to make sure they're clean and uh, nothing is like inside um you're going to want to try to look inside and as you can see lola's ears are nice and clean and there's nothing inside so for their eyes um, you want to make sure there's no like eye boogers around there or it's just not dirty around their eyes or maybe there could be stuff inside their eyes that does not look right. And then for their nose, you want to make sure that there's like no, no, their nose is nice and dry. It's not wet or there's not like anything coming out of it that's not normal. So that's for the eyes, ears, and nose. And then the next thing would be for check their fur so chinchillas you want to make sure that their fur is nice and soft and dense because it would be it wouldn't be normal if your chinchilla's fur is not like that and you also want to make sure that your chinchilla has all their fur and isn't losing their fur and you could also see because there could be fleece like um there could be fur on the fleece so if your chinchilla is losing a lot of fur you're going to want to take them to the vet and then another thing would be um, check for their breathing. So obviously you can't really hear their breathing and you can't really like see if something's wrong with their breathing, but it, they could have problems with breathing and they could make like noises. So if your chinchilla is making strange noises while trying to breathe, and then something's definitely going wrong. And then another thing would be um check to see if they are drooling from their mouths so chinchillas can drool from their mouths which a lot of people don't know this but it could actually cause a lot of serious problems that you don't want with your chinchilla and even like a little sign of their of them drooling you're gonna want to take them to the vet um as soon as possible and then check to see if their teeth are yellow and a good size so it's kind of strange because their teeth uh, need to be yellow and a lot of people think that their teeth need to be nice white and clean but it wouldn't be normal if your chinchilla's teeth are not yellow so make sure that they are and i just don't want to try to make sure that you they let you open your their mouth for you because um most chinchillas don't like it but you're gonna have to do it and another thing would be for them chinchillas teeth grow every like they grow all the time they never stop growing and chinchilla's teeth can get really long and like nasty so by having like a lot of like strong toys like wood it could help shade them down but you also don't want to you also want to make sure that your chinchilla's teeth aren't too short because then that wouldn't be healthy for them and then another thing would be if you have a male chinchilla um which i don't know too much about this because i don't have male chinchillas but if you do you're gonna want to make sure that you check for fur rings and i could do a video on how to take care for uh, fur rings and what they are but you want to make sure that their fur rings aren't like bad or anything or um most people actually get them uh, like done by their vet. You can, but if it's not too big of a problem, you can do it yourself. And another thing would be um, check if they are active. So it's kind of hard to see, uh, check if your chinchilla isn't active because while you're sleeping, they're awake. But sometimes chinchillas will be like active, kind of um, like at six and like 
more they're active at dawn and dusk so you can kind of still see if they are active and it, it wouldn't be very normal if your chinchilla isn't active because chinchillas are usually really crazy so yeah and then make sure if your chinchilla is a good weight you can use like a kitchen scale to see if they are a good weight or you can check with your veg um to see if, if they're supposed to lose weight or if they're supposed to gain weight but i'd say for both of my chinchillas they're pretty good weight and then another thing would be check to see if they have a hunched posture so chinchillas are already have like a hunched posture and uh, so it's gonna be hard to see if uh, they have a really really hard hunch posture. But as you can see, kind of here on Lola, well, it's kind of hard to see. But she kind of has a hunch posture right now, and that's because she's kind of bending. But in general, if your chinchilla just like moves a little bit and their back is really like bent, that could be a really problem for their spine. So make sure you're looking out for that. And then another thing would be check to see if they're eating their food. Most chinchillas always eat their food, so it, would be, it wouldn't be very normal if they're not eating their food. And it could be because of the pellets you're giving them or it could not, but it could cause them like weight loss or something's just wrong in their digestive system. So make sure that you know if your chinchilla is eating their food. And then another thing would be see if they had diarrhea. So chinchillas poop usually looks like this. It's just a little, little, um, kind of little pebble, uh, and it's usually black or sometimes brown, but it, it's usually really hard. It's never really liquidy, like how diarrhea is, and you can tell if, like, it's on their wood or on the toys or on the fleece, and that could be because something's wrong with their digestive system, um, so you just want to make sure that... If they are um, having diarrhea, take them to the vet. And then the last thing would be if check to see if they have a seizure. So you're not most likely you're never really gonna see if your chinch has a seizure. Um, but it's very important to um, see with your vet if your chinchilla is likely to have a seizure, because then you have to look after them more. But that is all of what I had for today's video, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!